Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine. That's why I have this weird accent. And now we will make this effect. All music in this video was provided by author Infraction. You can check these tracks in his portfolio here and find for yourself great music for your projects and videos. Links to each track which was used in this video is in description. Let's get started. Let's see how this effect was built. I'm going to drag my footage onto this icon here to create new composition. This video will be in description below. You can download it and follow along. So here's the original footage where I simply walk into the frame and about here we want to have our mirror dimension. So let's create it just to show how this technique works. So roughly it's about here. And here's the first problem. Let's decrease intensity to see better. I need to place myself on top of this mirror dimension. And to achieve this goal we need to rotoscope ourselves. But this tutorial is not about rotoscoping. If you're not familiar with rotoscoping, you can watch any basic tutorial on YouTube to learn this technique. Personally, I've used Rada Brush tool here and I've got this result. This also will be in the description to download. Here I have myself on top of this mirror dimension. So as you can see, now it looks much better. And here I jump into dimension itself. Okay, we covered basic part. Now let's make mirror dimension itself. I'm gonna delete this one. And also I'm gonna delete this original footage. And now as you can see, we left with this background footage which is in description where I'm just walking, disappearing and appearing here and I also have this layer with just myself as I said these footages you can download from description to follow along with this tutorial let's go to layer new solid I'm gonna call it mirror because we are going to use plugin trapcode mirror it is external plugin and link to it will be in description below if you don't have this plugin, I'm gonna show how to make this effect without using any plugins later in this video. And now let's see how this plugin works. Go to Effect, Trapcode, Mirror. If I click on this solo button, as you can see now it doesn't look like mirror dimension at all. So let's change some settings here. Go to Geometry. So here in Size X we can expand it to cover all of our screen, as well as in Size Y. Now let's rotate it and Y axis to make a wall, like this. I'm gonna set it to about 53. Maybe let's rotate in X, like about 2. And let's move it over like here. As you can see now we have too much details. To change that we need to drop these values to about 20. And here to about, let's say 12. Okay, it looks good. If you want to have same result, just copy all of these values as you can see here. Now let's work with the fractal. I'm gonna set it to multi smooth ridge. And here in evolution we can add some life to it. Let's set time cursor to the first frame. Set a keyframe here. And at the very last frame, like here, let's set it to about 120. So now as you can see we have some animation here. Let's also animate this frequency. So idea here is to add some extra motion when I walk into mirror dimension. So let's shut the solo mode off. And let's see the moment where I walk into it. Like here. I'm going to set here to 750. Let's press U on keyboard to see our keyframes. And about here let's set it to 831. So now we have this jiggle animation where I walk into it. Let's also play with these keyframes. Click on this icon here. Let's select them and click here. It will change the speed of animation. Our goal is when I walk into it to make a spike here by dragging these handles. So as you can see when I run into it we need to have this little spike. Click here. As you can see we have this wiggle animation when I walk through it. Now let's press on this solo button to work on mirror dimension look itself. So let's go to the shader. Let's set it to flat. And now we need to add some light in this scene. So go to layer, new, light. 
press OK. And now as you can see we have a lot more edges and it looks a lot better. So let's press P on keyboard and change position of the light. If you want to achieve same results, just copy these values. Our goal is to have hotspot around this area. Let's also press Alt key on keyboard and type wiggle, open bracket, 1, comma, 55, close bracket. It will make this light wiggle in the space. First value is setting how much it wiggles and second value is showing how much space it covers when it wiggles. Click anywhere and now we can see how our light is moving in space. Let's continue working on this mirror dimension wall. So here in shader we set it to flat, blend let's set it to off and let's go to material. Here we are not changing anything, just let's set it fall off to distance squared. Now we can see this hotspot a lot better. As you can see now it looks a lot more interesting. Let's also go to repeater. And here we can create another instance of this wall. Let's set it to 4. Scale, let's set it to 59, so we can see them. So as you can see, we just created some copies. Let's rotate it in Z to minus 90, to make it more uniform. Now let's click on this solo button here. I'm going to place myself on top of this layer, to see where I'm going to enter this mirror dimension. Again, select this mirror layer. And here in repeater, maybe let's change this translate X to about here, to place it right in front of myself. And now with this translate Z we can adjust how much details will appear. But first let's go to the shader and here in depth buff let's set it to on. As you can see now it blends with our original wall. So now where we are moving our translate Z in space it just disappears. Let's set it to about 110 and let's animate it. Let's set our time cursor to about here, set a keyframe. Press U on keyboard to see our keyframe. And about here, let's make this a lot more detailed, like this. I'm gonna set it to minus 30. And here at the end, let's bring this back into our main wall. Let's also play with these keyframes. Just click on this icon here. Select all of these keyframes by clicking on this translate Z. Click on this icon so we can change the speed of animation. So idea here is when I move in towards this wall, it should react to my movement, like this. Now let's preview this. Let's click on this icon here, go to layer, new, solid. Let's make it gray, it's important. So set it here to 50, so we would have this perfectly even gray color. Click OK. And now let's create mask. Click and hold on this rectangle tool and select it. Then draw a big mask like this. Then press F on keyboard and let's feather the edge like this. Click on this selection tool here. So this is what we need to have. Let's close all of these tabs. Click on light then press shift on keyboard and select these three layers light, gray solid and mirror effect and go to layer, precompose let's call it displacement map because this effect we are going to use I click ok by the way you can follow me on instagram link to it will be in description here I post preview videos to my effects which I show you how to make on my channel and now let's get back to our tutorial and now go to layer, new adjustment layer. And here in effect in presets, let's type displacement map and drag on this adjustment layer here. So you may be wondering why we are created this gray layer here, because this displacement map effect works only there where is not gray area. So let's set it to displacement map, shut this layer off for now, select again our adjustment layer and now let's displace our footage. Let's set it to about 100. And here let's set it to zero. Let's also click on this wrap pixels around. It will fix this issue here, like this. And now as you can see we already have this effect. To make it more visible let's drag this displacement map on top, like this. Click here to see it. And here in transfer mode let's set it to add. If you don't see your transfer modes, just click on this toggle switch here. 
Now let's go to effect, color correction, curves. And let's make curve so we would have only highlights. Let's also press T on keyboard to set intensity to about 35. As you can see now it more visible because we have our highlights. Let's also go to effect, color correction, tritone. And let's set the color to a bright orange. Now as you can see we have this gold look. Let's set it opacity to about 30. Okay, it looks more subtle. And now let's create a mask just to set this floor area of this effect. Like this. Then press M on keyboard, select this mask and press Ctrl C to copy this mask. Then select this adjustment layer with our displacement map and press Ctrl V. We paste our mask, so now we have this floor area. To make this effect more believable, we need to have some reflections on this floor. So let's select our displacement map, press Ctrl D on keyboard to duplicate, double click to any point of this mask and then click delete. Then select this side of this layer and make it smaller like this and set it about here and here increase size a lot bigger. Press T on keyboard to bring down the intensity to about 20 and let's also add some blur. Go to effect, blur and sharpen, fast blur or Gaussian blur. Let's set it to horizontal and set it to 23. Let's set it intensity to 15 so it would look more subtle and let's set it just below this adjustment layer. We can also press return on keyboard and call it reflection. And as a final touch, let's add a reflection of myself in this mirror dimension. Just select this rotoscoping layer, press Ctrl D on keyboard to make a copy, bring down here under this adjustment layer, then right mouse click on it and go to transform, flip horizontal. Let's move it over here. Then select this rectangle tool here and let's just cut to this moment. Press F on keyboard and set it to about 25. And let's also animate our intensity. Press T on keyboard, set a keyframe. And about here, let's set it to zero. Click on this graph editor here and drag by this handle like this. Click on this icon here. Let's drag our keyframe a lot further like this. So I want to see myself only when I'm close to this portal. And let's set it also to overlay and go to effect, color correction, tint. It will make this look a lot more subtle. As you can see now we have this cool reaction of the wall when I come closer. Then I have this reflection and I walk through it. Okay, it looks good. And now as I promised I'm going to show you how to make this effect without any plugin. In description to this video you will find a link to these files which also includes this displacement texture. So you just drag and drop this displacement texture. So basically you will follow along with this tutorial. You will not use this displacement map composition. Instead you will drag and drop this displacement texture. As you can see it exactly the same as we created. So just come back to this time and this tutorial and follow along using this displacement texture. And you will get same result without any plugins. Also, as you can see, we have these blacks here. We can fix this issue just by dragging our main composition to create new composition. And just press S on keyboard and change scale to about 105. So we would get rid of these edges. I want to remind you that all music in this video was provided by author Infraction. You can check these tracks in his portfolio here and find for yourself great music for your projects and videos. Links to each track which was used in this video is in description. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.